Okay, so in this marriage, I now want to know what does T.I. want and then what does Tiny want? What does T.I. want and what does Tiny want? For T.I., I get the car for death. I get the car for the Empress. I get the two of swords. The car for death and uh, the car for death is speaking about he wants things to come to an end so new things can begin. The Empress card is speaking about her. He he knows that she wants to have one last child by him or or she wants to get pregnant again. He no, he wants to get her to get pregnant again. He wants her to have another child. Um. But they are in conflict with one another because they they're she's dating right now and um, he's not happy about it. He doesn't like it. He doesn't quite know who these guys are. Um, there's two of them. One of them he's intimidated, but another one she won't let she won't let him get close to. And I feel almost as though he's he's solid competition for Ti. Like this man is this man is in the industry. This man has his own goons. He has his own money. Um, he is not a musician. I'm. He's. He's definitely not a musician. But he wants that relationship that he that she has going on to end, so that they can have more children. What she wants is she wants to mainly focus on her family right now. I get the card for the six of cups. It's like she wants. She wants to. She wants. Um. She just wants to rear her children, teach them, you know, how to act. And like, because the thing is, I'm hearing it is that Tiny is starting to become more aware of what's going on in the world. And she wants to, you know, she wants to have more conversations with her children about that. She wants to be more educated about society, politics, and she wants to bond with her kids in that way. I don't I don't see anything about T.I. I feel like she's found her her emotional completion. Like she's she said, you know, this is what it's going to be. T.I. is not going to be faithful to me. And it's out here. T.I. is not going to be faithful to me in the way that I would like for him to. So I'm just going, to, I'm, I'm going to deal with it. He's not going to give me the divorce um, the way that I want it to. And if he, if he does divorce me, I don't know if that's really what I want to do. She's going back and forth with it. She's definitely numb to the idea of being with him. Like she's, she's dead. She's still in love with him, but she's, she's hurt. And um, she, she just turns, she just tries to distract herself. Um, from the from the stress that that the relationship uh, that this marriage is causing her um, the ace of wands and then the nine of swords is speaking about her right now she's um uh right now she's embarking on a, a new venture a, a new relationship it's it's like she has these she has another guy that's in her head that really has her attention I think and and she's very and she's a healer so she's nurturing to this man um this i i do get that this man is older than she is by a few years but not even a but and he is he's he's in he's in love with this so ti wants ti wants her to have more children but i don't think that she wants to have more children i really feel like she's thinking about polygamy um I think that she's trying to rationalize polygamy in her head and she would like for her children to hurry up and be 18 so that she can leave her husband. Um, that's what's, that's what's holding her back. Let me see. Um, where's this relationship headed with this guy? Um, she's trying to keep it from becoming public because because as soon as like it's like as soon as it becomes public it's like it's going to be a train wreck it is going to start a lot of beef between this man and ti it's like new t will start to come out around uh surrounding uh surrounding this relationship because 
Um, somebody that's connected to the man that she's dating is going to say, hey, I've seen him out and about. I know this, this, and this, X, Y, Z. It, it, you know, people start, you know, once there's money, once, you know, once uh, uh, some gossip hits the internet, people will start paying for additional details. So um, additional details about it. So with that being said, I get the card for the son in reverse. She doesn't want this this relationship to come to light, even though it's being heavily surveilled by the people around her. I feel like media outlets have speculated about her dealing with another man. I get um I get the the night of hazards, and this is speaking about this man not wanting it to come to light because he's trying to steer the relationship. But he if it comes to light, it'll be out of his control to deal with. Um, he will, and then he'll start having to to use his heart and not his head. He'll have to come public with it and um, admit that he's in this relationship and, and and where it's going. The Queen of Cups card is speaking about the Queen of Cups card is speaking about you know her just she she's all in his head you know um she doesn't want like tiny doesn't want this to come pub become public because it benefits her she likes she likes the low keyness of it she likes it for what it is and um she's happy with where it is he's happy with where it is and um if it did become public um which tiny doesn't want it to do it would create a lot of chaos in their relationship so with that being said, um, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't work out for Ti either. It's like Ti just wants her to get out of the Ti just wants her to leave it alone, and he wants her to give her give. He wants her to give him one more child, and um, for them to be uh, and and for them to start over with each other. All right. Um. And now I'm going to ask, where is their marriage headed? Where is this marriage headed? I get the Knight of Wands. The page of hazards, the page of swords. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely see it as Ti is going to start heavily trying to prom uh trying to promote their 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 sons, um, either into music or helping them to become business people. But you will see um a little bit more about their sons. Maybe even the sons might be on growing up hip hop or something. I don't know, but um. <laughs> I do see his two boys. One is the, um, well, I mean, these are pages. So, I mean, it could be the girls as well. But I'm hearing sons. So, I, I do feel like T.I. is going to be working a lot with the sons. So, with that being said, Tiny's not really in this. So, what this tells me is that they both have made plans to just, right where the marriage is headed is it's a solid co-parenting relationship. Right now, they're focused on um helping their children build wealth tiny is trying to find her happiness um through this long suffering and that's where the marriage is headed as of right now okay um my next question um is going to now be dealing with it's going to be dealing with them each individually not so much about their relationship so give me just one second i'm about to shuffle Okay, so my first question um, that I'm going to be asking um, in this particular segment of the show about T.I. and Tiny is, you know, 
what is Ti's relationship with the city of Atlanta? You know, like what does you know what is he doing and what does he, you know, what does he plan to do? Okay, so Ti, Ti is actually Ti is going to be working with law enforcement in Atlanta. I get the car for justice. I feel like he's going to he's going to work with. He's going to work specifically with law enforcement about enforcing. Um, uh, it's going to be about it's going to be about arrests, like petty arrests, um, and it's also going to be about. Um, I know that he. I, what I'm familiar with is that he's he in, here in Atlanta. He's um, orchestrated, um, successfully orchestrated. Um, multiple different boycotts of restaurants that have have um you know rampant patterns of discriminating against african americans um the justice card is speaking about him working with law enforcement about petty arrests and then you know for you know making sure that atlanta police weigh out their decisions we don't need anybody shot we don't need unarmed people shot why would you do that why would you wrangle this person why would you handle them that way He's going to be trying to bring justice to the um, to policing practices, um, and he's also going to be trying to make sure that bystanders aren't wrongfully arrested for recording um, different situations, so on and so forth. He's trying to make sure that people in the city of Atlanta are protected, and he also wants to be the the voice to the streets. So it's not like he's going to he's more of a liaison. That's how I'm hearing it. He's a liaison between. Um, you know, East Atlanta, West Atlanta, Camp Creek, all of that. It's it's like Decatur. He Stone Mountain. He is um incredibly. And this is how I'm hearing it. He he represents the pipeline of information to be transferred between uh, the uh, he represents the pipeline of information being transferred between um, impoverished communities that typically don't that don't get outside of the 285 perimeter and um, politicians that never really leave, you know, Alpharetta, <laughs> Alpharetta and downtown Atlanta. But with that being said, the three of wands. Um, uh, I'm going to translate all of this for you all. It essentially means that T.I. is connected to the urban community and he is the liaison um, between um, prominent politicians and other business people. He's going to uh, especially try to do things involving law enforcement and making sure that law enforcement isn't um, wrongfully discriminating against um, people over petty crimes, especially women. The uh, Three of Wands is speaking about him trying to uh, make new breakthroughs and um, um, uh, new breakthroughs, new... Uh, and this is confusing because T.I. doesn't really have a, a solid mission. I mean, this is just being honest. He's a symbol, and this is how I'm hearing it. He's a symbol. He's not... As knowledge, he's not as conscious. He's definitely knowledgeable. He's not as conscious as he as he needs to be, and he and he he's he, you know he's not an attorney. He's a symbol. He's employed, and they're they're using him as a symbol. The hermit card is speaking about him, you know, kind of is speaking. You know, what I mean. <sighs> I'm not trying to diminish him, but I'm also not trying to exaggerate about his responsibilities here. But he's he's simply the liaison. He's the messenger. And he's going to spend a lot of time in those communities um, acquiring, you know, experiential knowledge from the uh, experience, experiential knowledge from them and, and translating that um, to different politicians. I mean, it's just it's, sim it's as simple as that. It's not as it's not really more complicated than that. OK. My next question is, um, um, it's about Tiny and her plans for Escape. I want to know, you know, is she still invested into Escape? And will she do more music with them? So is she still invested? I get the car for the Tower, the car for the Nine of Swords, and then the High Priestess. She's not, and, and is she going to make more music with them? 
Okay, so simply, is she going to make more music with them? Yes, she is going to make more music with them. But I don't feel like, I feel like this is going to, like, she's going to continue making more music with them into this year. But I don't see them working together after this year on new music. Now, they will come together as a group in the next few years to promote the music but i'm i'm saying it is this is kind of like her final project with them i get the car for the star the car for the queen of cups and then the car for the four of cups this is speaking about in this role is saying that the music her working on es the escape tour took so much time away from her her family she didn't get to work on her marriage <laughs> The way that she had wanted to, it was still in limbo. I'm not particularly sure if T.I. was wholly supportive of her tour, is what I'm hearing. And it's just, it's too much. It's like, she cares a lot about her family. She wants to make money. She is successful. She is talented. And she does a great job at being a wife while also being known for having an actual skill set, unlike, you know, other people, other women that she may hang around, like Toya Wright Carter. I'm not sure if people know, people in the public know. I mean, seriously, ask yourself right now, what are five skills that Toya Wright Carter slash Memphis slash Anonymous slash whatever her new last name is? Name five solid skills that Toya has that she that can make her a million dollars um, in a year. So with that being said, Tiny is known for having a skill set. The star card is speaking about entertainment. The sun shining down on her. The queen of cups is speaking about, you know, um, she wants to do this. She knows that she can do it. She's, um, she wants to do it. She knows that she can do it. She's extremely charming, talented. She has all the skills within her um, to continue making this music and songwriting this music. I hear that she, I hear that, I hear that there are songs that she has deep in her gut that she just wants to give to the group as her kiss off. And then the Four of Cups is speaking about her wanting to spend more time in her marriage or spending more time in this other relationship that she has because working on more music keeps keeps her from um, being loved on. Um, because she's she comes into the relationships completely exhausted, needing somebody to rub her feet. And sometimes she don't want her feet rubbed. She just want to suck some ding on them. Um, so the tower, the nine of swords and the pre the high priestess, the tower is speaking about, look, she's holding on to this, this girl group. She knows that she needs to let it go. This shit is going to come crashing down. And it's the thing is everybody can see it though. You, I can see it. You can see it. She's not, she's not as invested into it as she should be, but she's a nice person. She's very forgiving. She's about that check. She's committed to the group. She loves what they started. She's going to finish it to completion, but that's who she is. She's a hard worker. The nine of swords is speaking about her. It's speaking about her having to like nurse the other two women in the group, because I'm hearing that they are not as financially established. So she's had to help them to make ends meet sometimes. And she's also trying to stick around with them because her celebrity helps to bring credibility to the group as is. And it's also people are paying really to see tiny at this point. Um, the high priestess card is speaking about, I mean, it's in reverse. So it's like, look, I, I, there's nothing hidden about it. She knows that she knows that this ain't for her. You know, it is sharpening her creative ability. So I feel like this is not all for naught. I just don't get where this is going. I don't see where this is take, going to take her because I can't see the because she's financially established. She doesn't really particular. She doesn't really need the publicity. It's easy for her to get another reality show. These are the things that I'm hearing, right? I'm not making this up. These are things that I'm hearing. And so the high priestess in reverse is specifically saying that it's not worth it for her to c continue going on um, with this. It's not going to be worth it. She's not going to acquire some, um, she's not going to have a moment of, uh, of mental clarity. It's not going to be a mental victory. It's not like good karma is going to come rushing, going to come back to her for helping these other women um, continue to make money. It's, it's not like that. It's just she's she's doing it from the goodness of her heart without an expectation for a reward in return. OK, so my next question is, um, why did Tiny hire a private investigator and what the heck did she find out about T.I.?
Okay, so the first row of cards I get the Eight of Hazards, the Lovers, and then the Eight of Wands. She hired a private investigator because T.I. was cheating on her, okay? The Eight of Hazards is speaking about she could never get into his head about things. Like, she knew that he was stepping out. She knew that he had another woman. But the thing was, was that this level of cheating wasn't normal. It wasn't like he was just stepping out, just putting his penis into a woman. This was this was an affair that he was having with another woman that he had a child with. This is what I'm... Because I see her trying to chase this woman off, and she's a younger woman, and um, the reason I feel that she has a child, I'll get into it um, in the next row of cards, okay? So she felt like T.I. It's like, you know, why is he, you know, it's like, she's like, I could accept, she's like, I can accept if it's just good sex, but he just, he, he's, he's picking up her calls, he's taking her out on dates, he's doing X, Y, Z, he's spending money on her, it's not making any sense to me, it, it was ridiculous. It was almost as though it was a, it was side chick behavior, but she had suspicions that the girl may have been pregnant. And um, she did chase the woman off because I feel as though this woman had made herself known to Tiny before, but her friends had stepped in and just kind of been like, bitch, don't you make yourself, you know, know your place. Um, something to the effect of like, you know, you're a movie, you know, you know, we go to the movies, and but we don't bring the movie home. You know, we enjoy you at the movies, and you stay right there. And you don't. And we got a front row seat to you, so we know exactly what you're about. I also feel like this woman, they had a threesome with her. Okay? I feel like this woman, they had a threesome with her, and I feel like T.I. introduced this woman into the threesome. Like, they, like T.I. was already screwing this woman, which was fine. Um, I mean, it's their agreement. But, you know... Look, push came. Look, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying, all I'm gonna say is this: there are some freaks, and there were no condoms being used. Look, at the end of the day, I don't want to spill too much tea. I don't want to make this too messy, but I'm just gonna say that the reason that she hired this private investigator is because she felt like Ti was having an affair on her, an affair, not cheating. Because they have agreements with each other, but in a fair. Now, what she found out, she found out that he had a child. Okay? She found it out. I I feel like this investigator, I feel like this investigator got some of this woman's DNA or some of the child's DNA somehow, some way, either through a straw, a baby bot. I don't know how it was, but I feel like she hired the private investigator and they did a secret paternity test on this baby because the Ace of Cups is speaking about is speaking about a new relationship venture. Okay, she received a document. Is she she received a new doc? It's like when she got that new document, when she got that paternity, it's like oh he has a baby. But this is I'm I'm not hearing that this is this is recent. I don't hear that this is in the past year. This may be like two or three years ago. So with that being said, she got that document. The Ace of Cups is like hey I'm dead in it. All these different. Thoughts started running through her mind. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm sad. I'm sick. I'm upset. I want to fuck him. Damn, where's this kid? I want to know. You know, what about uh, my other kids? Like, they got a little brother or a little sister. Um, All that being said, the Ace of Cups is specifically saying, look, girl. You know, she ended the relationship. Um, She knew that it was over. And that's why she's numb. That's why it's just an arrangement now. I mean, this is that's what it's caused. I mean, I know on Candy Code at Night, she says she hired a private investigator. That's why I'm asking this question. I don't watch Candy Code at Nights. The, the Candy Code at Nights I did watch was the original where it was on the web series, and it was Ratchet. And um, she, ha- she was doing it in Tag's Boutique. Now, with that said, the death card is speaking about... The death card is speaking about things getting shut down, okay? She shut things down. She shut down. She closed shop. There were no more threesomes. She put a, a, a chastity belt on herself. She put a locking key on it. And then she went, dug up some bones, practiced voodoo, rubbed graveyard dirt on her crotch, sanctified it, consecrated it, anointed it. And if if T.I. tries to get into it, a demon's going to come out. So with all that being said, she hired the private investigator, found out he was having an affair, and then she found out he also had a child in addition to that. I, I I feel that this was something that she already knew, but she needed it confirmed. Okay. My next question is, does T.I. have kids outside of the marriage? Which I've already answered. So why did I pull cars on that? <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know. Hell, I mean, I don't know anything about these people. 
I get the card for the Hierophant, the card for the Two of Wands, the card for the Queen of Swords. This is speaking specifically about a child. It's like a child. It could be proven if this woman was going to take T.I. to court for child support, but she settles out of court. So it's like it doesn't even get there. He does have a child outside of the marriage, but the Two of Wands is speaking about this woman always, there was, this woman contemplates about going public, but she also knows that if she does go public with it, she's going to lose a lot. That um, she's going to, like, she's, she, yeah, she will get a check, but not as much as she needs. Like, it's going to, it's going to be really difficult for her to, to go public with this and to be taken care of to the same degree that she is now. She receives more on the front end um, in this way and by remaining discreet than if she does by going to court um, and trying to take him to court for it. So the Hierophant is saying, look, you know, just watch things from afar, watch things on t TV, keep things low key. And, you know, yeah, you do have a Giovanni Jackson, but, you know, you're also well taken care of and you got red bottom. So what else? What more do you want? Um, I mean, it's, this is a situation that it is. It's, I mean, I'm not... Um, I'm not trying to diminish um I'm not trying to diminish this type of relationship in any way but I want to describe it as um I want to describe it as this woman didn't want more um from TI than a child than to be taken care of and consistent sex she doesn't want tiny spot okay <laughs> And my final question is, does T.I. hold back Tiny's career? I get the moon. I get the chariot. I get the ten of wands. Um, T.I. doesn't hold back Tiny's career. Much rather, he tries to tell her, like, he tries to tell her what she really cares about. So Tiny is, is talented. Tiny is successful. But she often deceives herself into thinking that she needs to work because a, a lot of her female friends are feminists or they have a feminist consciousness. And they're like, look, you can't just stay at home. You can't let that man tell you what to do. You can't do this, this and this. T.I. knows that at a cellular level. Tiny wants to be a housewife. She enjoys being a housewife. She doesn't really like working. Um, she doesn't love working. She just likes to work. And it's, it's, it's like a hobby for her. The chariot is speaking about, you know, T.I. wanting her to move forward, um, you know, aggressively pursuing music and a cookbook. He likes for her to do he likes for her to do things that integrate the family. It's like kill two birds with one stone, you know, do something that's entertaining and it and it includes the family, something where you can always take care of the kids and be around the kids. Because the Ten of Wands is saying that she juggles a lot of responsibilities from managing her friends to managing her family, taking care of the children, making sure T.I. is okay, and then in, uh, dealing with her relationship that's on the side. The Moon card is saying that she often deceives herself into thinking that she can juggle all these things and balance them. But T.I. Is, the, T.I. is the brains behind the situation. Not to say that Tiny isn't smart. She is. But T.I. knows T.I. knows Tiny's capacity. She knows that she's an overachiever. He knows that she's an overachiever in all areas. And it's not that it's not that he tries to hold her back per se. He just tells her no a lot because he knows that deep down she just truly wants to be a housewife. Now, his knowing of her wants to be a housewife is simplified. It's not very complex because his ego keeps him from seeing that, you know, yeah, she wants to be a housewife today, but she also needs to be, she also needs other, she also needs other parts of her to be nourished and, and to feel complete as well. He knows that, but he doesn't attend to it. He kind of tunes it out. And he's, he's pretty one track minded in how he relays it to her because he doesn't process um, who she is and her he doesn't process her needs and how her needs help her to help her to realize more of who she is um he doesn't process that information in its fullness 
I know I just said a lot. I hope that makes sense. Please let me know in my comments if that makes sense. Um, with all of that being said, please go to www.blackspectrumnetwork.com and purchase a private psychic reading. Um, please share this video, like this video, and comment on this video. Please go to patreon.com forward slash Black Spectrum Network where you can get exclusive psychic readings, exclusive content. And as of now, I have so many psychic readings that are available on Patreon that will not make it to YouTube that you just won't see. So in order to get access to that content for just $2 a month, go over to Patreon. Until then, I'll see you all again next week or sometime later this week. You never know when I'm going to show up. All right, you guys. Bye. Never rains in Southern Colorado